In this video, we're going to be using PAA Keepsake Fruitcake and the Edwin Jagger 316 Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm your host CDB and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. As always, before we get into the content, a word from my sponsor, Leaf. This video is brought to you by our good friends at Leaf, and you know I love Leaf products. I love using the Leaf, which you've seen me use many, many times on the channel. I also love using the Twig. You've seen that a lot on the channel as well. If you'd like to save 5%, use discount code IMCDB right there and save 5% while shopping with the good folks at Leaf. And now, back to the video. And all right, we are back and we have a good one for you today. We're using a very interesting soap today. It is very festive. This is PAA Keepsake fruit cake and what's really interesting about that is he has some little bits of shaving soap in here that look like candy it's not candy it's actually different scents in soaps those those little chunks and i have scooped around it because i kind of want to maintain that because it's kind of cool it's fun that's what paa really does they, they just do fun things and this for me is pretty cool and fun i like it the scent on this is a sweet gourmandy type of scent. I'll put the notes for you on the screen right there. We have candied fruit, butter, coconut, maple syrup, brown sugar, vanilla, uh, atomic aged bay rum. Don't think you're going to get a big blast of bay rum in this because you're not. It's just sort of on the end just around it a little bit. It's a very nice scent. I like it. I'm glad I bought it. This is in the CK6 formula. I'll put the ingredients for you on the screen right there. This is a vegan soap. It's a very good quality vegan soap it lathered really easily with no problem at all i'll show you a lather shot right there nice and creamy smells great it's filling the room really nice the cost on this is 24.95 for five ounces or on a cost chart there 4.99 an ounce which is a fair price and it's just a fun soap i think and i'm looking forward to using this it's one i'll always always remember uh, 2021 with which is kind of a rough year but there's blessings too and we'll talk about that as the shave goes on the razor for today is the Edwin Jagger 316, and this was kindly sent to me by Jimmy of NYC Wet Shaving as a gift last year. Thank you so much, Jimmy. I hope you're doing well, you and your family. I love this razor. If you think it's exactly like the DE89, it is not. It's a different head geometry. It's designed different. This part here, the head is stainless steel. Now, they do have some that are all stainless steel, but the colored ones, I believe this aluminum part, this uh, blue, this colored part is aluminum, I should say. Sorry for the being tongue twist. It's a very nice, a reasonably efficient shaver. I'd call it about medium efficiency, but definitely more than the DE89. And it's a really good looking razor. And I like this handle a lot. It just feels good in my hand. I have medium sized hands and this razor is just great for me. I love it. So thank you again, Jimmy. Let's get into the shave today. Why not? We'll start by just applying a little water to the face. And again, here we use a mister just so we're not splashing water all over the place. And I find this distributes the water on your face uh, very, very nicely. The brush for today is the Envy Shave 8 Ball, one of the brushes I brought with me. And we're just going to get into it. And we got some nice creamy goodness here with the Keepsake Fruit Cake today. A lot of hydration in here. I really pushed the hydration today just for fun, just to see, you know, what I could do with it. And it is... It is very creamy and it is very nice and it smells great and it's fun. That's one of the things sometimes I think we forget about hobbies like this. It should be fun. It shouldn't be uh, a place where people are just arguing and at each other's throats and you know, it should be fun. And this soap is just fun and I like it a lot. It's the first time I've used it because honestly in years past I always thought it would smell like fruitcake, which I'm not the biggest fan of. I think this is just a nice sweet gourmandy type scent. Comes across very nice to my nose and I really like it. I like it a lot. You remember the other day I used Cosmic Christmas Cookies, which was fun. And that day um, I made that video. It was like, you know, 4.30 in the morning and Cosmic Christmas Cookies at that time has, had not been released. And like three or four hours later, I got a notice saying it had been released. I didn't think he would release it that late because I think many people won't get it before Christmas. But that is a great one too. So if you're interested, these holiday soaps are available at PA through the holidays. Um, I'll put a link below to the entire holiday collection for you, if you please. It's very nice. And when you use the affiliate links, it helps the channel. So thank you if you do, but certainly only buy what you intend to buy. All right, very nice. Oh man, this just smells great. Uh, medium scent strength. Sometimes I forget to say that. 
but this one is right at that medium level, which I like. I like it at, at a minimum to be close to medium. I'm okay with the soap if it's a little under medium, but I like it to be close, at least to me. Medium and above, or close to medium and above is, is normally where I like it. Okay, let's get going with our Edwin Jagger 316, and loaded inside is a Gillette Nasset blade on its second use, I believe. That is nice, smooth as silk. I really like this Edwin Jagger 316. Again, they call it 316 because it's made uh, from 316, the 316 stainless steel, or at least the head is on this one. This part of the handle, I'm told, is aluminum or something like that, but it comes together very nicely um, for me. I'm gonna plug that sink so you don't have to hear that noise, but man, that is just nice and smooth. And this, uh, this razor is, again, reasonably efficient. It feels very, very nice. Just an easy going sort of shaver. And uh, I like it a lot. It's well designed. It's handsome in my opinion. It looks good. And it works well too. And the Nasset blade, you know, I love as well. Now the soap here, of course, it's P-A-A-C-K-6. Um, it's very good, um, very slick. Never have any quality problems with PAA soap, so you can expect a very good quality soap from PAA. And I love that they just have fun with things. Don't get me wrong, they take soap making seriously, like they make a very good product, but they like to have fun and be with whimsical. And you know, like I said, uh, I think last time I used a PAA product, Christmas Cosmic Christmas Cookies, Douglas is kind of like the Willy Wonka of the shaving world. He's just always thinking of something fun and interesting. And uh, that's really what a hobby should be. So I am very appreciative for Douglas and Fran. Oftentimes we forget to mention Fran because Douglas is kind of the face of the company. Um, we, we forget Fran, but I think they really do things that are fun and joyful. And who couldn't use more fun and joy in their life? I mean, we all can, right? Like I was saying earlier, 2021 for me personally has been an extremely challenging year. But also, I think uh, it's a year where I've been very, very blessed. I'm blessed with you all. I've met so many new people. I've had the chance to help so many new people. That is a blessing, folks. Anytime you have a chance to help somebody and share your knowledge, share things, and just be a blessing, it is a blessing. <laughs> and so, Despite all the health woes and issues in my family, which is unprecedented for me, uh, it, it's tougher than it ever has been. The blessings that I've received from this community and friends, um, it's made it a great year also. But I realize on the same token, lots of folks have been lost. Um, I'm very mindful of that. And, you know, I, I, I try to just remain grateful. So all of you who are watching today, you know, be grateful today, please. Because you never know how long you have. <laughs> and I just want you to just really and truly appreciate today. And appreciate tomorrow and appreciate every single day. And appreciate this hobby and the fun that PAA in particular brings. They just love to do fun things. And look at that good hydration in there. Very good quality soap. Very good indeed. And man, it smells great. Feels great on the skin. It's got some nice heft to it. I've got a really, I've got a lot of hydration in this particular lather. And it is just fun. <laughs> and so, you know, like I said before, who can't use a little more fun? No one. And so today we're gonna really just appreciate the shave and also appreciate you all for being here. So thank you once again. It truly means a lot, and that is not lip service. I try to answer every comment, try to help as many people as I can. Of course, I, there are limitations as to what I can do, um, but I try to be as helpful as I can. So if you have questions, you know, I'll pop up my social media links right there. Feel free to hit me up there. It might take me a little bit of time to respond, but I try to respond to, to every question. Now, the one question that I won't respond to, it's just because it's not manageable is when people ask me for things directly, like they ask me to send them things, I can't respond to that. And I would appreciate it if you didn't put me in the position to have to not respond. 
Um, when I first started, I was uh, sort of fielding those questions. And then next thing you know, I was overwhelmed with requests for things. And so I do try to give, and if you watch the channel, you know this, I've given away a lot this Christmas, gift certificates and so on. Uh, so please understand that I do give as much as I can and I love giving, but if you send me a request and you ask for me to send you something, I won't respond um, to anything else. If it's a you know reasonable question or comment, I will respond. And if you need help, you know you need uh, counsel on on shaving or products, I'm happy to tell you what I know and share my knowledge. Knowledge is to be shared, not hoarded and kept secret. So I'm happy to share that. But please, I ask that. Uh, don't make requests for products, but do watch the channel because I will always be giving stuff away. And in fact, today, why not? Let's let's give something away today. We're close to Christmas. And so I'm going to give away today two $25 gift cards for, from the Razor Company. And all you have to do below is just write uh, grateful, no hashtag, just write grateful, the word grateful, because I want you to be grateful and I want you to, I want that to be in your mind today, just to be, if you're here and still plugging, be grateful. And in a couple of days, maybe around Christmas, because I'm only going to leave this open a couple of days, I will, uh, probably on Christmas Day, on the Christmas shave, I will plug in the winner. So join right now by just writing grateful. And there will, I will select two winners of $25 gift card for the Razor Company. So there you go. That will be fun to to give away a couple of those. And I've given away a ton of those <laughs> this Christmas. It's been a lot of fun. I've done it mostly on the Real Talk shows and giveaway shows. And so that would be fantastic. And I will buy those right after this video. So I will have them ready to go to send to the winners when they claim them. So uh, just keep in mind, I'll always be trying to give back. So. Please understand that if you send me a request um, asking for things, um, I won't answer that. And I apologize. It's just, it's not manageable, especially with everything that I have going on. So I hope you understand and I hope that doesn't come off the wrong way. Because believe me, I'm trying to give everything I can. So thank you for understanding. All right, let's continue on with this fantastic shave today. It is really a lot of fun. Oh man, the Edwin Jagger 316 is a terrific razor. For me, I think it's underrated. I think it's great looking. I think it's nice and efficient. I always enjoy using it every time I use it. And I much prefer it over the DE89. Although, I'll tell you right now, there's nothing wrong with the DE89. I can use the DE89 and get a great shave with it. It's a great razor, still classic, I would call it. But the 316 brings a little extra oomph. And don't forget, again, with these holiday offerings from PAA, get them now while you can if you're interested. I'll try to link those for you below. I always try to remember to provide links. Don't forget, folks, look below. I always link as many things as I can if they're available to make it easier for you. And also some of them are affiliate, like I said. Anything under affiliate is, is uh, indicated, so keep that in mind. All right. Last cross pass here. Man, love this soap. Love this soap. Honestly, I resisted this for a long time, this soap, because I thought it would smell like a fruitcake, which is not unpleasant, but just not my thing. And I don't know why I waited so long. <laughs> Sometimes you just don't know how something smells. This is just a nice, sweet, gourmandy scent. And for me, it's a lot of fun to use. That's why I left those little cubes in there of... Uh, shaving soap because I want them to be in there because next year I want those to be there. I want to look at them and reflect back on this year and just have a great memory. And thank you for being part of that memory. Those of you who comment will certainly <laughs> be part of that memory for next year. It'd be fantastic. All right. That is just nice. What a smooth, nice, fun shave today. Like I said, PAA. I would consider them in the hobby to be the gold standard in fun. Who has more gadgets and off the beaten path thing? And not to mention every line they come out with. So like every soap, it has a whole slew of products with it. 
And a lot of times they have t-shirts and clothing and uh, mugs and just, it's just almost limitless the amount of stuff that the PAA puts around their products. And some of the products have a few extra items and more than others, but generally every product has a pretty full line around it for the most part. Um, and I appreciate that about them. Uh, you certainly don't have to buy all those things, but if you want something, it's there for you. So I think they do a great job at that. All right, excellent fun shave. Let me rinse and then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off cam. We did a rinse to get rid of the soap. And then we used our Razor Rock Alum. No stinging there, so super smooth shave. No nicks, cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, or troubles. Following the alum, we did another cold water rinse, and then we towed off with our Lancaster towel prior to using the magic made by witches, Thayer's Witch Hazel with Cucumber. Folks, don't forget the giveaway. Just write grateful, and on the Christmas Day video, I will draw two winners uh, for a $25 gift card from the Razor Company, which I will purchase. It's coming from me, so Merry Christmas. Uh, if you win, if you don't win, stick around. We're going to have more giveaways. Don't worry about that. And don't forget, PAA Keepsake Fruit Cake uh, available through the holidays. I'll link that below. I really enjoyed using this, and I think it's super cool, those sort of simulated candies there that are shaving. So great gourmand scent, great quality, just tremendous fun. And I thank Doug and Fran for just their commitment to fun in the hobby. We need more of that, I think. And so they do that very, very well. We used our Envy Shave 8-Ball Brush, and it's in our Lancaster Razor Works Brush Soaking Mug. We used our Edwin Jagger 316, which was a gift from Jimmy, NYC uh, Wet Shaving. Thank you, Jimmy. I love this razor. It's reasonably efficient. I'd say about medium. Uh, it's made of 316 stainless steel, on it, but I believe this handle part is actually aluminum. Very nice razor. It runs about $135 on Amazon. I'll link it below, and they do have different colors if you're interested. I love this razor. It's very, very nice. And let's not forget today the aftershave we're using. This is Kane. Uh, aftershave from PAA and a lot of people say this smells like CAD once it dries down. I don't know. I haven't used it yet, but we shall see. It's sort of pepperminty uh, the first couple of whiffs you get, but they say later it sort of dries down to a barbershop type scent and I am looking forward to that. Man, this this restrictor is really restricting now. <laughs> All right, let's slap this on and man. Oh yeah, I like that. Very nice indeed. That is very pleasant. It's fun. And man, today was fun. I hope you had fun. I hope to see you here tomorrow because I will be here, God willing. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Till next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.